Welcome back. While so many EVTOL electric aircraft videos are CGI, we're going to show you four different manned drones that are fully operational and testing, taking orders, and waiting for compliance for aviation airspace. It is exciting to show these first two, Airspeeder MK3 and DCL Big Drone. The spirit and evolution of these flying cars are rooted in racing, which is similar to how cars have evolved. Then there is Xpeng X2. It was showcased in Dubai recently and its fully enclosed cabin for two has a nicely finished interior and exterior. Jetsun 1 is a really cool single-seat EVTOL, with a build-it-yourself kit option. The video includes the new beginnings of a client experience center and pilot school. We hope you enjoy this, and tap the bell. The world's first drag race was held between two flying electric cars. Two unmanned airspeeder MK3s were used in the test run which will lead to a series of F1-style air races. The pair of MK3s were involved in a high-speed duel that carried on for a distance of about 300 meters, at an altitude of 15 meters. The winning flying car reached the top speed of 155 kilometers per hour. The Australian company Alorda Aeronautics, which specializes in the development of flying electric vehicles with vertical takeoff and landing, known as EV Toll, for participation in high-speed races, showcase a demonstration video of the drag race of two unmanned airspeeder MK3 multicopters. Perfect timing for Formula One championship driver, Bruno Senna to join airspeeder as a development pilot and global ambassador. Senna joined Airspeeder just as they were announcing its first remotely piloted EXA series races. He will play a key part in the development of the sport, as well as contribute to the technical and dynamic development of the Alorda Aeronautics MK3 speeders. It seems no coincidence that they got a winning Formula One motorsports legend to join the emerging F1 electric aircraft sport. The EV Toll Airspeeder Racing League has recently been announced and is based at the Alorda Aeronautics headquarters in Adelaide, Australia. This pilot test of the Airspeeder MK3, an unmanned vehicle, demonstrates the possibility of a future class of road transportation. Upcoming EV Toll races will not only create a new sport of F1-style racing, but will also contribute to the future development of electric vehicles. Officially, the first races of the Airspeeder Racing League are expected in a few years. The future looks exciting as more companies would be joining the league to promote the industry, themselves and to do randy with emerging technology. The knowledge acquired and developed from these competitions could do more to further growth in the industry than any wind tunnel would ever do. The DCL Big Drone is the most recent product developed by the Drone Champions League. The Drone Champions League features head-to-head -head competition amongst national teams using miniature quadcopters in races against one another. In 2016, one year after the founding of Drone Racing League, the Drone Champions League DCL, was established. Both leagues have attracted a significant number of pilots and interest recently. Not only are skilled pilots highly sought after in the gaming industry, but also in the commercial and military sectors of the economy. The best racers in the league can earn up to $100,000 annually to display their talents, and attract new racers to this rapidly growing sector. The introduction of full-size racing drones, which are flown without pilots at this time, has been another key pull for the industry. Will the head-to-head -head racing competition ever see this man drone compete? Do you believe that you have what it takes to succeed? The DCL Big Drone is a significant draw because it gives you the opportunity to see what they're actually doing with it, and how it operates for the pilot when it's out in the air. When you are used to flying small drones or even virtual drones, you are accustomed to them responding with the flip of a switch due to the size and scale of the aircraft. This is the case when you fly this big drone. Because of how powerful its motors are, the DCL Big Drone is an extremely powerful piece of machinery. As a consequence of this, the device has a short lifespan for its battery. This drone is designed to perform greater acrobatic maneuvers than its predecessor. Not just in design, but also in functionality, it takes inspiration from the drones that are utilized in the game. So, 
the fact that the crew was successful in optimizing and balancing all 12 motors and rotors, while also getting the operating system to work in this hangar for a test run was a significant achievement. The next examination will be carried out in the open air. They will be able to put the capabilities of the aircraft through its paces by performing barrel rolls, loops, and flips. This will be really thrilling. They fervently want that this is the case. They will rejoice over each victory for the time being, but they are looking forward to the day when they will be able to watch many of these man-sized drones competing against one another. Dubai's Jitex technology show included, Speng's flying automobile prototype. The Chinese Xpeng X2 successfully completed the first public test flight of their two-seater flying automobile, even copying the DeLorean's famous, gullwing door design. The Xpeng X2 lifts vertically off the ground using eight propellers, without the need for a runway, and is therefore suitable for built-up areas. The completely electric two-passenger vehicle can rise into the air at a rate of about 2 meters per second, and its manufacturers claim it can travel at speeds of up to 80 miles per hour. Even though the test flight was just 90 seconds long, Chief Aviation Specialist Liu Xinyang at Xpeng Arrow argues that the technology is almost ready for wider usage, even if the flight only lasted for that amount of time. On the other hand, legislation regarding flying cars is quite some time away. According to Liu, within just five years, people will be able to drive flying cars within specific controlled regions, thanks to Spain's intentions to engage with governments to create a physical regulatory framework for them. This will be made possible as a result of Spain's intention to create a regulatory framework for flying cars by working with governments. This fits in well with the ambitious plans of the Chinese government to create flying taxes by the year 2025. The Xpeng X2 is equipped with AI automation, and it can either be programmed to drive itself, or it can be operated manually. This is as if flying weren't already a significant step forward. According to Lu, it acquires the ability to avoid collisions with people, structures, and automobiles. Even self-driving autos, that are flying at high speeds over people's heads, continue to generate worries about safety for a significant number of folks. This is because the self-driving components create extra regulatory issues and raise concerns about public acceptance. Xpeng maintains that, a flying automobile that is self-driving is inherently safer than one that is piloted by a person. The benefits of flying vehicles, such as the Xpeng X2, go much beyond the satisfaction of unreasonable science fiction fancies. Proponents of flying cars argue that, they have the potential to transform urban transportation by easing congestion, making streets safer for pedestrians and cyclists, and lowering carbon emissions for electric vehicles, like the Xpeng X2. Meet the Jetsun 1, a personal flying vehicle designed to not solve the climate crisis, or revolutionize transportation. Its sole purpose is to entertain you. According to Jetsun founder Peter Turnstrom, it's essentially a jet ski for the air. He and his co-founder Thomas Patton have been working on the Jetsun 1 since 2017, but have mostly remained under the radar. They released their first video of a proof-of-concept vehicle in 2019. Since then, we've seen a number of flight testing videos and vehicle upgrades. Jetsun then made its official debut late in 2021. It depicts Patton piloting the very first Jetsun 1 production model. And if their goal is to make flying this thing look like fun, they've succeeded. So let's talk about what the Jetsun 1 is, and isn't. It's a recreational ultralight EV toll, which stands for Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing, as most of you are probably aware. It weighs 190 pounds, has an aluminum frame, and is powered by eight electric motors. It has a flight time of 20 minutes, thanks to the Tesla battery cells. This means it's not designed for long commutes to work, or getting you to your next vacation. This is for fun and, let's face it, making your friends jealous. The flight controls, and their simple design, however, are what the founders are banking on to generate interest. We are now confident that we can load anyone, into the jet sun, and teach them to fly in 5 minutes. They will have a good time, because flying is so simple. You heard that correctly, 5 minutes. 
Unlike helicopters and planes, Jetsun claims that no flight experience is required to master flying this thing, nor is a pilot's license required. There isn't a complicated array of buttons and switches, and the pilot's left hand is the thrust lever, which talks to the proprietary triple redundant flight computer and controls the altitude, and the right hand is a three-axis joystick. The computer limits the top speed to 63 miles per hour, and Jetsun claims that if any single motor fails, it can still fly. There's also a ballistic parachute that only deploys at higher altitudes, and that cage is intended to protect the pilot in the event of a low-altitude crash. There's also lidar sensors for terrain tracking and avoiding obstacles. Peter was asked about his first time flying the Jetsun 1, it was a little louder than I expected, but it has a nice futuristic Star Wars kind of sound, and most importantly, it gives you this profound experience of joy. It's fun, it's so much fun, everyone has dreamed of flying, so the big question, to use Peter's words, is, how much? How much does a Sky Jet Ski cost? The Jetsun 1 is priced at 92,000 US dollars, and according to the company, orders are pouring in. Testron said that they've taken 163 orders for delivery in 2023. They intend to spend the first half of this year conducting crash tests before ramping up production to meet those orders. The company plans to open a training center in the United States after the first Jetsun owners attend a training session in Tuscany, Italy. Now that immediately got me thinking about where I would want to fly one of these if I had the chance. The Grand Canyon and Yosemite National Park were the first places that came to mind for me, but what about you? Let me know in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching, 